Hey guys, welcome to part one of a three part series or episode series, whatever you want to call it, of this journey that I am about to embark on. If you have not followed along on my Instagram page, let me get you up to speed. So for the entire month of April, I'm going on the road and I'm going to go to 30 gyms, 30 coffee shops, 30 cities in 30 days. It's going to be a lot, but it's going to be a lot of fun. It's over 4,000 miles of travel, but it's all going to be worth it. And so my intention behind this is just to get back to the community basics and, and the root of of what makes the community amazing and that's the people and so I want to serve them in the best way that I know how so I'm going to be coaching some classes jumping into some community workouts and just mingling with the people who have supported this journey from the very beginning and just serving them the best that way that I know how and so I've teamed up with some of my sponsors we have some really fun gifts that I'm not going to show here because I don't want to ruin the surprise for the gyms that we are going to go and visit so I'll show everything that we are going to um, be giving them at the end of the series so stay tuned for that um, shout out to those sponsors, they really hooked it up and I'm just so excited to treat these people, to meet the incredible people who make the community what it is. So the very first stop that we are going on, I found it fitting to go to the very first gym that I actually learned how to work out and exercise in and it's a garage gym. It's a family friend, I did not know how to exercise, we'll tell you the story on the way there. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna go to his garage gym and just kind of get back to the grassroots of where I came from and how I started this journey. So let's get started. So on this series, you're going to get a lot of behind the scenes look of how this is gonna go. And to just to start off, it is 940. We have about a 20 minute drive to this, um, to our friend's house and garage gym. And as you can hear the ticking behind me, Impeccable timing here. We're gonna work on the tractor. Dad, what are you doing? <laughs> Window to work on the tractor? Leah, yeah, I had 10 minutes. It's like a lifetime. Perfect. Let's see the yard when you get home. Oh, shake. Shake. Okay, good boy. Gentle. <laughs> Tell me about Sutton. How do we get to know? Was Sutton your friend? Like my golf friend. friend? Golf buddy. Golf buddy? So family friend, <laughs> one of my dad's golf friends. I had gotten a actually a brain injury in high school, which took me out of all like sports and exercise. And so I found myself when I was finally released to actually exercise and move my body. I had no idea what to do. So I went to like the rec center and tried that out and I just couldn't couldn't get into it. And so I think one day we were on the golf course because I would play with my dad and his friends because I played collegiate golf. Um, he was like, you should come and try CrossFit. And I was like, no, I'm not going to do that. Like I need to know how to exercise, but I don't want to do CrossFit. Like I don't want to go to the gym. I don't know what I'm doing. The typical, well, I'll go to CrossFit whenever I feel like fit enough and when I know what I'm doing type mentality he's like no I work out in my my garage gym and then sometimes I go to the gym so nobody's gonna see you <laughs> and I'll teach you how to actually exercise and I'm like okay fine I'll try it he just kept asking and asking and I'm like fine I'll just try it one time so I tried it one time went to the garage gym this is the gym that we're going to right now got hooked he taught me how to essentially do all of the movements um, I worked out here in his garage gym, I would go to college, I would go to class, and then I'd be like, hey, can I come over and do my workout? Yeah, come over. I would either work out with him or Aaron, his wife, because she is like goals. I wanted to look just like Aaron. I was like, whatever I can do, as long as I look like her, and that's what I want. And then obviously got addicted to it and loved it. And he took me to the actual CrossFit gym, which is the next stop that we'll go to. And that's where I started like my competitive journey because I went to one CrossFit class and I was hooked. So that's where we're going right now. We're going to the garage gym where it started it all. And yeah, I found it fitting to be the first stop. Oh yeah. <laughs> Got the right shirt on, that's for sure. Thanks, yeah. You ready to get wolf? Yeah, I am. <laughs> so funny. Well, this is where it all started. Where I started CrossFit. Oh, 
thank you very much. You're welcome. Right, Actually, the very first shake, protein oh. shake I ever had as well was here too. And it was the watermelon. The ignition. I still have my yep. I still have the old black jugs, just in yep. case anybody's wondering. Yep. <laughs> I love you. Good, how are you? Good. This you is my are? ultimate inspiration when I started cross. Yeah, it. right. <laughs> like, how do I just look like you? Yeah, thank you. That was very nice of you. <laughs> Hey, who's in charge? <laughs> Not me. I told him I was like, well, You may go faster, but I'm in charge. We decided, he decided. He came up with this workout. It's a great one. So we got 50, 40, 30, 20, 10 wall balls. And then after, so you'll do 50, and then you'll go 25 hang power cleans, 100 double unders. So you go 50, 25, 100, 40, 20, 80, 30, 15, 60, all the way down. That's a workout. And then I would only expect Nelly to be playing because that's what we'd always. Well, that's a little to. Mary J. Pye. On the those school rap. On the little um, blue Nano iPod, it would sit on the thing and find a little Nelly song on there. awesome because kind of in the later part of what I'm doing right now like it's run by so like big gym and like a bunch of people and which is amazing but it's so cool to just come back here like back to your roots and work out with him like where I first started it just like brings it full circle and I love that it's like homey as a thank you I figured these be your size Sticker on. Oh, look at there. Oh, that's sweet. Oh, yeah, those are sharp. Oh. <laughs> if, they, up. if they only grew hair, that'd be the only thing that would be better. <laughs> Thank you, those are really sharp. Thank you very much. Yeah. Oh, sweet. Did you sign it? No, that's Rich's signature. Oh, it is? Oh, that's sweet. T-shirt and Oh, wow. Yeah. That's what awesome. Thank you, Mr. Rich. Get it. We're gonna class it up a little bit. Or if you, no, we don't wipe. If you hang out. No. Apron. Sorry, apron on. Put your hat on. And a grilling hat. First workout protein right here. <laughs> Yum. What are those called? There's Bailey size. <laughs> <laughs> Bailey burger. These are called Oklahoma burgers. So you get the onion, and the burger, and cheese. And cheese. It's, it's like, low fat. Looks though. like something out of Bon Appetit. Yeah, really. Do you have a plate there? Yeah, I do. I don't take the burger First stop on this 30 day gym tour at the home gym where we started this entire crazy, wild, amazing journey. So now we're off to the first coffee shop. So let's go. She's here. My, one of my friends works here. She's amazing, but I don't think she's here. For me, one for you. What'd you get? Ice latte, oat milk, honey. They melt the honey? They melt the honey. <laughs> Did you get lavender? Yeah, I get the, uh, sometimes I get a little crazy with lavender, but always the ice latte with oat milk and honey, and today I added some lavender. The key, they melt the honey. When she says that, it's like you put the honey in the bottom of the cup, Dump the espresso. espresso so it melts it, stir it, add the milk. Because if ice. you if you don't do that, then the honey's down here. Like and then chunky. when you you can't even taste it, and then it's like hard. <laughs> it's not hard. 
but they do it right. These are the best. Cheers. Yum. So that's a wrap for the first stop. On to the next. On day two, we're headed to stop number two. We're gonna go to CrossFit 417, the very first CrossFit affiliate that I have ever been to, and also where I started my competition career. So let's go. All right, what are you doing? I'm making the, I'm making an Instagram announcement about going on this 30 day extravaganza. We are at CrossFit 417 in Ozark, Missouri. This is the very first CrossFit affiliate that I have ever attended. So the gym that, the garage gym we just came from, the guy who owns that gym, he came up to me one day. He was like, I think we should just go to the affiliate this Saturday, participate with the community and just have some fun. So I was like, okay, let's do it. So I came here, hang out with the community and you'll get addicted. That's what happened to me. And then, like I participated in some of the class workouts. I loved it. Every morning at 9 a.m. I would come and do the CrossFit class. And then eventually I would see some of the competitors over on the other side of the gym. And I was like, huh, maybe I want to do something like that. But then what really got me started was a very handsome man came in to this gym, who is now my husband. <laughs> and this is also where we met at the water fountain. So I'll show you that. But um, the owner of this gym, his name is Jared Stevens, and I'm just very grateful that he was able to take me under his wing and teach me so many things about CrossFit, competition, life, and overall just very thankful for him. And he also took a chance on me and put me on his CrossFit team, and this is the first place that I qualify for the CrossFit Games on the team. So lots of history here, so let's go check it out. It's 417. Original. <laughs> Sticker's been here since I've... Inside, though. Actually, in order to, um, since I was in college, I would come here and in order to pay for my membership, I would do childcare. So I would do childcare in the morning, I would try to do my workout, I would go to school, and then I would come back, try to do a workout either in the garage gym or here. Then I'd go back to school, then I'd go to golf practice, then I'd come work out again, then I'd go home to eat, and then sometimes I was in a sorority <laughs> and I would go back to the school and come back. Everything was like 30 minutes apart, so. This is the water fountain where I met Tyler, my now husband, and he told me that he liked my shoes, and from there, it was, the rest is history, you know? It's just, it's the best pickup line he's got. <laughs> it worked. I was thinking like, I looked like a bum. Like my hair was growing out in the sides, my beard was mangled, and I'm like, I don't really care, but then I'm like, man, maybe Bailey doesn't want me to look like a legitimate homeless person <laughs> no. in her video. I don't care. Robert, what's up? Number one patriot. I love it. <laughs> huh? Hey, what are you doing? This is Melissa. Oh, my good, good friends. I Must miss you so much. I miss you too. Oh, good boy, you got the stick, good boy. Serious about, just like old times. <laughs> we would usually do like 455 to 550. Well, I don't want to do that. We're doing um, synchronized deadlifts because we would always be partnered up on the team for deadlifts. Just like, I think we were probably team broke back. The week back. <laughs> yeah, we have a photo that will flash to just show you our deadlift form. So it was just survival mode for us. Oh, I have the pic, pic stitch. Yeah, okay. yeah, of both of us. We're like... <laughs> we got it done though. Yeah, my back still hurts from that day. Twenty minute e mom. First minute is twelve toes bar. Next minute is eighteen wall balls. Is this all synchro? Yeah. All synchro. Uh, ten partner deadlifts, like on the same bar, just to throw it back to old times. And twelve question mark, maybe ten. However we're feeling on that minute of bar basic groupies. And if we get, if I get too tired, we'll do like you go, I go. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's how we roll right now. <laughs> had done class. You started doing class here in 15 or 14? 15? I think. A couple of funny things about that. So I remember seeing this skinny little girl come in and she's like nice to everybody, you know? And then within a few days, there was at least three or four of the guys in here just following her around after workouts. They'd all be huddled around her. And what was funny is Tyler would always just be sitting back. <laughs> And just biding his time. He knew, like, they would all fizzle out and the dude would step in, and sure enough, he did. But in 2016, we had a pretty bad games run. We had some attitude issues, mine included. Um, so I brought in a bunch of girls so that we would have 
we had any issues, I could just dump someone off the team and bring a new one in. And that pissed Bailey off so bad. And I remember thinking, like, she came to me and she's like, I feel disrespected that you brought other people in. And I was like, good. I did say that. I forgot. I was like, I've been working hard. Yeah. So I listened to her whole spiel. And she wasn't even on the radar at that point, really. Like, she, she was uh, not strong. Um, and I remember saying, well, thanks for telling me, but I would do it a hundred times over. And that girl just went to work. Ended up making the team that same year, right? Yeah. 2017? Yeah. I don't know how. I was impressed. I but... You got way, way better after that because you were pissed. <laughs> yeah, but why? Like, why were you like, yep, yeah, I think I think we're going to give this a shot. That still wasn't super strong. Like, it still had mental hold. Well, so, I was like, I would let anyone come train with us. Most of them would fizzle out because it was so hard. But I just watched you and I'm like, She's being serious. She's a psychopath, too. Yeah. And then when we did the regionals workouts. That weekend. That weekend, you did really good. And helped, you kept up. And like Your gymnastics were just so great, too. I'll still say it. 2018 and 19, we had the best girls in all of CrossFit on two. Sorry for anyone who gets their feelings hurt. <laughs> House. And then turned around in the same field and won the strength workout. And we were like, Yeah, that's what's yeah. up. Everyone forget about the last one. <laughs> literally where I started um, trying to be competitive seeing the competitors it was so awesome just to be able to like learn from all the people here coming from the garage gym coming to this CrossFit affiliate and just being around the community that's what I originally just loved about it and it's awesome to get back in here and just kind of relive some of those memories and then um, so like typically we do the class workout over here and then some of the competitors would do things over here and so this is kind of primarily where I learned how to compete in CrossFit and we went on a team. Um, we had actually had tryouts for a team, kind of like what he was talking about. Um, and I ended up getting chosen to be on the 2017 team and 2018 team and then ended up going individual. Uh, we had the year of 2019 where it was kind of like the sanctional events. And so we didn't end up qualifying that year. We were supposed to go to France and then I had injured my back. And then uh, the 2020 year with COVID, I sat out because of my back, and then I tried to qualify as an individual 21 and 22 and 23. And so this is where all the competitive things started. So smart. Okay. Now, another question. If you could only take one movement with you to an island, you had to go live on for five years, but you wanted to stay fit, what one movement would you take? Probably a burpee. Or like, can I take equipment? Yeah, you can take equipment. Um, you can take a full rig? So if I take the full rig, then I can do No, you can do a pull-up bar. Things. No, no. You can only do like, you can only do one move. Like I either have a barbell or I have a rig. Pretty much. I would think more like a tree with a, a <laughs> rod between them. Mm, nothing with weights. I don't need to do weights. I probably keep do, muscle I mass? do the pull-up bar. Really? But you could only do pull-ups. Only pull-ups? You can only do one movement. Then I would take a barbell. Yes. Take a barbell. He's but like, what movement? and I have succeeded. But what movement? Because the barbell does a million things, but you can only do one. What? <laughs> My shoulders got jacked the last five like, years. <laughs> and your lower body's like a island. stick. <laughs> but really, what's new? It's about how it is. Okay, it's a whole body. Pulling, yes. squatting, thruster. Okay, so fine. I, That's stay, I think I could stay pretty fit. And then you could always like change the technique, you know, so it's like yeah. to get some curls. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, but that's what he did. He's like, he's like wants me to choose the the barbell. So we got there. Yeah. <laughs> so he's like, but really, like only pull-ups is what you can do. So like, wouldn't you want to choose something else? Well, I mean, a and that's pretty good. <laughs> Minus your legs just don't get any work. But then you can like, yeah, you can't do. It. That's a good one. A you can jump to your pull-up. summertime we finished a workout just like we did and me and Christine this place used to, I don't know if it still is but it used to be called like a discount store so Christine and I would literally get in with our workout walk over there with our wallets and get like popsicles and juice and different snacks and then come here and eat them in the sunshine that was amazing Finn and he just brought us a stick and he wants to see if we're gonna get the stick look ready set Oh, oh, good. Good boy, good stick. Good boy, good stick. There are, well, there are so many funny ones because he's literally one of the funniest people. Tyler and I talk about this all the time. You're like the best storyteller. He's so funny, but I think one of my favorite memories is when we would go to the lake and we had like a route. It was like down and back. Like you'd swim down to the dock and you'd swim back and we had our little buoys. And I would like take a breath. And he was clear <laughs> on the other side, swimming the opposite direction. <laughs> He'd come up for air, and his hair was like in his goggles. <laughs> he couldn't see. Yeah, remember the bangs? <laughs> Somehow my hair would make bangs. Like the little guys would hang down like this. It looked like that kid off The Simpsons, the little stubby one. We were all like, kind of like, is someone gonna tell him that he's going the wrong way? Or? He'll figure it out. <laughs> I still think about this sometimes, and I'm like, man, this was pretty mean. It was. Bailey's first regional. We were partnered for the very first workout. And I'm just was an it, asshole. Um, dumbbell scratch one? Yeah, yeah we so we're in the, the back. Like, it's the first event. Mm -hmm. and when I'm scared. She's nervous, so she's like giggling and talking a bunch. And like, I went up to her and I was like, hey, Bailey, shut up. <laughs> I'm like, stop talking. You're making everyone nervous. You just deal with it on your own. I was like, I think I was like I don't I don't know if I know how to do any double unders. I don't know. If no, I know that how was to do. 18. No, that was the first reason. Uh uh. Oh, it you maybe were doing it, but after I said something, you didn't say anything to me. Yeah, I did. And I think like, how cool that she didn't just get mad at me and be like, "F this guy," because like it was pretty brutal how I talked to her. And then in 2018, Christine comes up to me and goes, "Jared, um, Bailey's doing like hundreds and hundreds of double unders <laughs> warming up for the first event." I and I told her so she needs nervous. to chill, and she keeps saying, I forgot how to do double unders. <laughs> I was like, okay, I'll take care of it. So I go over to Bailey, I'm like, Bailey, what are you doing? She goes, I don't, I just forgot how to do double, I can't do double unders. <laughs> and I'm like, I just watched you do like 50 straight. I'm like, I, I know I'm going to forget how to do it whenever I get out there. And I was like, it. stop doing double unders. See ya. We got a lot of events. And she goes, I turn around, I'm like six steps away, and I hear, <laughs> like this woman. <laughs> What? For our second stop, CrossFit 417, lots of amazing memories here. Very, very thankful for this place, and it will always hold a special place in my heart. Now we're headed to our next coffee shop, Architect, so we'll go check it out. I'll probably just get a cold brew with no ice. No nitro anymore? Because I almost died a bunch of times. <laughs> we used My to body drink doesn't only nitro well. cold brew when it first came out. He would have like two or three a day. Mine's gonna be an ice latte with oat milk and honey, as per usual, but I might add lavender again today. Oh, they have it. Oh, yeah, they do. We're gonna find out. Um, I'm gonna do an ice latte with oat milk and honey. Uh, I'll do 16, and can I also do lavender? I brought you that stuff you want to grab. Yeah, two of them. Let's make two of them. It is like a full, full, grown, blown cabbage pepper. No honey here. Anything with it doesn't treat him, doesn't clean him, doesn't clean him. So we're going to go. We're on to stop number three. I've got the squad with me for this one. <laughs> we're driving about an hour and 15 minutes to Mountain Grove. Missouri 
and so we are going to go and I'm actually going to coach the 415 class which I'm excited about there's some gymnastics things that I'm excited to coach some people give them some pointers if I have any that might help them along the way but we're going to see um, Lauren and Stephen Gum and they just opened up a new gym so we're going to go see them and see their community and get to coach a class so here we go coffee shop and I ordered oh your gosh. drink and they're like oh yeah the Lady Liberty like exactly it's yeah. one of their specialties exactly Bye, oh, my God. Yeah. oh thank you <laughs> yeah there's a straw if you wanted that. it thank you guys for the coffee wow we got all the good supplements in here what's your favorite flavor have you guys ever tried it my favorite uh -huh. flavor of what <laughs> the meat stick uh, barbecue. barbecue! Barbecue! We've got a barbecue meat stick squad over here. I like I the barbecue the too. The, the what? The original. The original? Kind. I feel like the cheddar ones. I don't like those. I've never had it. <laughs> Neither have I. <laughs> So we're gonna go through the workout. We have this warm up, a little three set warm up. We have some strength. Um, the strength is gonna take 10 to 15 minutes to practice either their choice crossovers, bar muscle ups, or handstand walks. And luckily, I love all these movements, and so maybe I'll be able to share some tips. Um, and then we'll go over the workout, and we have two 10 minute AMRAPs, five bar muscle ups, 25 crossover singles, and 50 foot kettlebell walking lunge. We'll rest five and we'll hit another 10 minute AMRAP of 60 single unders, 15 foot handstand walk, 15 kettlebell swings, and 15 foot handstand walk. And then we'll be done. All throughout my history, your faithfulness has walked beside me. The winter storms made way for spring In every season from where I'm standing 